Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by here at the Daly Society. My name's Kristen and I'm here to show you all the brand new patterns, the indie patterns released so far for the month of November. I'd love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, which is all about creating your own wardrobe, fabric and pattern inspiration, as well as if you really love this episode, a thumbs up would be really greatly appreciated. Before I get started today, don't forget the bespoke boxes are landing Sunday night, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, and that is the Sugar Plum Fairy theme. Very exciting, that Christmas element. There's a lot of fantastic goodies in this box and I know a lot of people are really excited to get their hands on one because if you missed out on the advent calendar and you're wanting a bit of a Christmas surprise, this will be the box of the month for you guys. So I'm making sure that I get these out uh, in the next week or so so that you will get them in time for December um, and it's really fun putting these boxes together. I think you're gonna love the surprises inside. I need to talk about what I'm wearing. And this is a new little top, a little tee that I just whipped up. It's actually so nice. It's 27 degrees here today in Melbourne, so I can't complain about the weather. So it's really t-shirt weather. This is one of my favorite t-shirts from Patton Emporium. It's one that was released at the start of this year and it's called the Carefree Cuff. Tea. I'll put some pics up so you can see. This is the one that mum and I actually made the same one from the same fabric. This is the beautiful Stoff um, Jersey Avalana print that which is in the peony blush and we do have some of this left in the online store. It's really lovely to sew up with really nice quality cotton jersey and very breathable which I love because I tend to uh, really prefer wearing a natural fibre when it gets really hot and humid here. But the thing I love about this pattern is the options to do that little twisty sort of cuff uh, roll up, which is sort of a half roll up. I really like the options for the neck as well, but it's just a simple staple tee that's great for popping on with a pair of jeans. Uh, and I love the kind of shirt tail hem on it as well. So let's get talking about new patterns. There's been a lot of really lovely patterns. I think people are starting to kind of get that little glimpse of the Christmas season coming ahead and maybe starting to think about planning things that you want to make and see in the wardrobe for the coming season ahead. The first pattern I have spoken about on my last episode, which was the wrap dress episode. If you haven't caught up on that, I'm listing my top woven wrap dresses that I love. And I've also got a knit dress episode, a knit, knit wrap dress episode coming uh, at the end of this week, as well as a new make. So this was the Deer and Doe Circe, the beautiful ethereal-like, goddess-like dress, which I just fell in love with. It has a gorgeous drapey sleeve with the slits in the front, so very nice and easy. It gives um, kind of Elizabeth Taylor vibes. Uh, I love those kind of caftan-looking uh, dresses that you can really glam up as well as wearing it maybe for a nice floaty dress on a hot day. I think if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're wanting to make a really beautiful statement festive dress, this could look amazing in a drapey looking um, chiffon or maybe a bit of sparkle there. So I'm loving the glam dresses this month. That is definitely on the list for the glam. Uh, size range on that is 34 to 60, but you can just as easily make that in a more subdued or more casual uh, fabric and shorten the length uh, to give it less of an impact. So I love a pattern you can do a lot of different things with like that. The next dress that I've just seen has been released by the lovely Sewing by Mason. Of course, Jasmine uh, has come up with a beautiful little puff sleeve, very kind of baby doll looking. And oh, there's a lot of dresses out there at the moment with this same or similar style tiered um, tiered skirt. You can eliminate the tears if you want to make it more simple. But I really like that she's done the bodice quite simple with that lovely puffed sleeves. I think you can do quite a bit with this. And she's also said just consider making it just in the top. If you don't want to have the teed skirt, you can just as easily do that. Um, her patterns are really lovely. I have made a couple in the past. She's got the Atlas dress and she's got that beautiful Sicily slip dress, which was of course a sensation a couple of years ago now and it really looks lovely on. So I can uh, definitely recommend her patterns and size range on the cloud dress is 32 to 52. Now, Italia Jupe have come out with a beautiful new range of fabrics and patterns to go with them. Come out with their very first coat and this is the Alexa coat and I have to say if I was in the northern hemisphere I would definitely have bought some of this fabric in for my store because it is a stunning fabric uh, and I'm not sure who does stock it but this absolutely beautiful Alex coat is just so vibrant and pretty it is actually a princess themed coat you can make the longer um, kind of mid-length 
or the shorter style coat, but just a beautiful classic style coat. And there's also the really pretty M up blouse. And I've seen um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door has made herself, I think two or three of these pin tucks, I should call them, not pleats, pin tucked bodice, a lovely kind of higher neck and just a really, really pretty blouse on her. And I really have to say on those on Andrea look absolutely stunning. So. That is the two new patterns that Atelier Jupe have put out with their new fabrics. As soon as I come out here to film, someone starts their lawnmower. So I hope that's not picking up too much on the noise. And now there's another one going as well. So I do apologize for that. The next pattern from Cashmere Red is a winner. I think it's a beautiful looking pair of trousers. It's the Miriam pants. They do have an amazing looking side fastening area. I think that she's um, basically put that there so you can adjust throughout the day. If you're sitting down, you can loosen it. And if you're standing up, you can tighten it up. It's a structured pair of pants that looks incredible on and I love those details that she's thought about the wearability and the comfort we want to have in that kind of um, attire if you're wanting something more like for office wear something you can dress up for a night out as well and you can make it a lot more comfortable so size range on that is zero to 32 it's got a zip fly hidden closure on the side really lovely slush style pockets and a straight leg but the flex waistband I think uh, that extends as you sit is just such an amazing idea so well done to cashmere at patterns and if you're like me you see the patterns come out every month the cashmere at club of course i had a little break from there for a while but i saw this new pattern come out the other day and i thought i'm joining up to be part of that club again because for 15 australian dollars a month i can totally justify it when you know you see a pattern you just fall in love with and the beauty of cashmere at club is you can basically join and cancel as you please um, it just means that you won't get the patterns that have been released while you haven't been subscribing but that's okay because this dress for me was absolutely breathtaking it just blew me away i love the vintage styling it's the rockwell dress size range of course zero to 32 it is a vintage glam style dress with a 40s kind of nod to it um that's that, that, that goddess look and it has the carol shrug to go with it so she's really thought about glamming it up for the festive season and i think carol mccardell uh, which i had actually mentioned in the wrap dress episode who was um one of the pioneers of the first original wrap dress or house coat dress in the 40s Carol McArdle uh, has actually had design inspiration in this shrug which is just so beautiful with that Rockwell dress okay. and we're just sort of gathering and pleading through the front a really easy looking dress you can really give it a statement look um, definitely one for the festive season so if you're like me and you joined up cashmere at club again just to get this dress i think i'm going to stick around for a while because i'm really excited to see what they're coming out with and i'm in the middle of making my rose clear dress and really loving so far how it's coming up so i've got to say i love cashmere patterns i love that they have um, cup sizes that go up to an h as well as they're two different size ranges too so uh, the rock gold dress spot on beautiful now, another new pattern released from a wonderful pattern company called true bias is the riley overalls and i've got to say i'm not a huge fan of dungarees i'm sorry i'm going to disappoint a lot of you that love a good pair of overalls or dungarees i am just a bit over them i'm not really into wearing them myself i find them very impractical i suppose they're great for maybe if you're doing uh handyman work and you're not wanting to get your clothes dirty. i don't know i just find that um, jumpsuits and overalls are a little bit overdone and i've seen i normally i don't sort of put my two cents worth in for a lot of my pattern um patterns of the month and i must try and keep maybe a little bit neutral to that but i've just seen so many similar looking dungarees uh, in the whole pattern world at the moment and I'm just not sure if um, if I'm ready ever to make a pair myself I can say that a lot of people look fantastic in them uh, but I would feel a little bit kind of children's presenter I'm, I'm not sure it's just not for me um, but if you love the look of the true bias Riley overalls they are a classic style dungaree overall that goes up to a size 32 and I do love her patterns and I really uh, got a bit excited when I saw she'd released a new pattern but yeah the Riley the Riley overalls are probably not one that I would make but I would love to hear you if you've made a pair and you've loved them definitely let me know another new pattern from the beautiful Bella loves pattern is the Linda dress now this is a really pretty dress it's got a bit of Sophia Loren vibes happening it's got that kind of milkmaid looking slightly off the shoulder the cutout cuffs with a lot of pleating detail and it's got that kind of um, rouleau 
um, tie there that gives you that kind yeah as I said like the kind of milkmaid vintage style but the dress is a um like a straight looking skirt part with a split at the front so really gorgeous dress and you can make it in a long or short sleeves as well and I could see a lot of people making this uh, for the festive season as well if you're wanting something without all the ruffles and gathers and you're wanting something a bit more simple uh, this would look really pretty in a solid color I can imagine it's even in a beautiful black but definitely love the um, love the styling of this uh, the Bella Loves Linda dress is from sizes 6 to 22 yeah, seam work of course seam work club if you've ever joined up before you'll know that you get certain patterns for the month for free uh, it's a monthly or yearly subscription of course the uh, Porter dress was just released it's a really lovely uh, looking shirt dress with a shirt tail hem sizes 32 to 60 to go with that they've also released the banks jumpsuit it does have very similar kind of vibes to the zadie jumpsuit that cross a front wraparound style jumpsuit but at the moment yeah jumpsuits are not my thing but i love the look of the zadie on it's definitely one that i've made before and i must say it is a really lovely jumpsuit on now there's been two brand new patterns released this month with jeans so uh me i don't make jeans i've made them in the past i've got to say that i i'm a bit lazy to make jeans i like a quicker project and if i'm going to put a lot of time into something i want something that no one else has got anything like similar so maybe i'm going to put time into making a beautiful blazer or jacket but jeans not so sure it's my thing but I know a lot of people swear by making their own jeans and say once you've perfected the fit you will never go back so if you have a favorite jeans pattern and you love making them before let me know in the comments what your favorite jeans pattern is because the two new patterns are released this month one is the Love Notions Legato jean uh, size 0 to 32 now this is a stretch jean it has a full or flat butt option so you can tailor the fit there which is wonderful uh, you've got the curve or straight waistband and different tapers of legs as well so I know a lot of people have loved these and they do look very comfortable being a stretch jean which of course I will not wear anything unless it's a stretch jean I've got to say I'm a stretch jean fan so that's the new love nations pattern the legato the other new jean pattern is a non-stretch jean and this is by helen's closet it's the brooks jean now i think helen has been creating these jeans for over a year now they've been a really big work in pro progress for her um, she has developed the right fit so they're not too tight not too loose uh, non-stretch uh, classic cut classic fit you've got the options of the tapered leg or the just on the ankle wider leg and the size there is at 0 to 34 and I've got to say Helen's patterns are always wonderful to sew her instructions are very thorough and very beginner friendly so maybe if you haven't made jeans before these two jean patterns I've mentioned would be perfect for a beginner um, but yeah jeans for me mm -mm. not so sure I, I think I'm a bit more of a dress uh, I love a good dress and maybe tops um, and a bit lazy on the jean making front but love to hear if you've made jeans what you've loved making and wearing by hand london have got a new quilted coat pattern this is the narissa quilted coat you can make it in a lightweight quilt either in a long coat style or more of a shorter style jacket you can either quilt the, the fabric yourself or buy pre-quilted fabric love this i think this would be a great jacket to make maybe you slow down your sewing and maybe make something a bit more um, unique uh, being a quilting it yourself and I love by hand London patterns they are always fantastic um, this one looks like a really gorgeous pattern it's got the drop style sleeve so kind of a casual style um, cozy looking jacket I think or coat that would be beautiful in um, maybe you could make your lining a different color you could do some mixing and matching would be spot on beautiful the other new pattern I've noticed from them is a non-traditional style pattern. So you don't actually get the pattern itself. You get the um, process about how to make the pattern, how to draft it for your own body. And it is a um, skirt bundle pack with all the instructions you'll need. You can either make the circle peplum skirt, the gathered um, tuck skirt, and the ruffle hem wrap skirt. So they'll give you all the uh, instructions that you need to know how to sort of fabric measurements to cut for what style and they'll take you through all the ins and outs of how to draft this pattern yourself so uh, from what I've heard by hand London they have got fantastic instructions for things like creating your own patterns and drafting and, and um, garments to fit your own body really well so that one looks really great pattern and very versatile now a favorite pattern of mine from about two years ago now I made my first Montana midi by Stylark 
And I've thought in the past I need to remake it because I really loved the um, kind of the gathered off the bust, but not overly big. It's not, not like it doesn't look like a sack on it. It looks quite lovely on depending on the fabric you make it. Of course, I used a drapey viscose, but they've come out with the extension pack now for the Montana Midi. And you can either make the traditional style Montana Midi if you've already got the pattern by the extension pack, which I already have bought. So that gives you four different bodices and three different sleeves. So the four different bodices are the V-neck, the round neck with the button plaque at the front. That one looks, has a bit of an 80s vibe. And also the mandarin collar or collarless style that looks fantastic as well. And then you've got the options of your short sleeve, your mid sleeve, your longer sleeve with a ruffle as well and a kind of puff sleeve. So you can do a, quite a lot with that one pattern now. And it is a really comfortable, cool style dress pattern to wear throughout summer. I can guarantee you that I loved wearing mine. Now wardrobe on me have come out with the Pika vest. It's a traditional style tailored vest. Size range on that is zero to 24. From what I've seen tailored waistcoats are really making a comeback you can do uh, something different with the lining if you want to make an impact with your lining uh, or if you want to make your vest in maybe a print or a tapestry you can then wear it underneath a blazer as well and get that three-piece happening kind of look so uh, yeah zero to 24 and a great looking tailored style vest pattern now a pattern that's come to my attention I don't think it's a new pattern I just wanted to mention it on here because I've never seen this pattern company before I wanted to mention it because I think a lot of you are going to love this dress if you haven't seen the Cara Mia patterns this is called the yesterday dress it is a really lovely kind of baby doll style a bra friendly so thicker straps and then a really pretty style scoop and a lower scoop at the back um, it, it's that baby doll style that you could really make a statement with it's a simple style but I can ma imagine a big placement um, print on the front will looks really pretty with that or just a nice soft drapey in this case um, the size range on that is 0 to 34 and there's quite a lot of fabrics in my store at the moment I'm looking at um, choosing to make things for spring summer that I don't want to interrupt the pattern um, so I think with something like this you could definitely work on uh, making the um, yesterday dress and making a full-on impact statement with depending on what print you've got but love the look of this especially for the bra friendly option I must say that is always a winner for me so that's my roundup so far of November patterns I know there'll be definitely more patterns coming because there always is a day that I release a new pattern video a new pattern will come out but that's Murphy's Law isn't it I am going to be having my a new cashmere at rose claire dress ready for you with some inspiration on the weekend i'm also going to be having a knit dress wrap dress episode and don't forget really important reminder that the bespoke boxes are landing this sunday night 7 p.m australian east daylight savings time so make sure you look at the right time zone these are going to be in high demand because of that Christmas element. I know a lot of people are really excited about the Christmas sugar plum fairy theme. And I've got to say, the scented gift and the edibles are beautiful this month if you love a bit of Christmas excitement. So make sure you uh, uh, sign up to the newsletter to get reports on when they'll be landing. If you've forgotten, always check underneath in the description of my videos. I'll have all the details for those as well. So Sunday night is the sugar plum fairy bespoke box. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. I hope you have a wonderful sewing week and I'll keep those sew wrap dresses coming. I'm loving seeing all your entries on Instagram. We'll see you all soon. Bye.